a very good evening class 10th we are continuing with the chapter metals and non metals and in today's class we'll be talking about reaction with oxygen for metals and non metals and how do they behave differently now before i actually conclude to the results of what happens when a metal react with oxygen and a non metal reacts with oxygen i'll be doing it with the help of an example and then we will draw the conclusions you are watching the channel by seema makijani hope you are liking chemistry i am trying to make it easier for you students so please keep liking subscribing and sharing the videos okay now the first example is i am taking a metal magnesium i am taking a fresh piece of magnesium without any coating over it this fresh piece of magnesium i heat it in the presence of oxygen it catches fire and there is a dazzling white flame that you observe which is also accompanied with the formation of magnesium oxide which is a white colored ash fine now this metal oxide is soluble in water so when you add water to this so you add water to your magnesium oxide ash and this water you very well know is neither acidic nor basic it's neutral so when you add it to water it leads to the formation of something and you also add litmus solution red litmus solution to it fine and what is observed is your red litmus changes to blue now if the red litmus is changing to blue we conclude that whatever is formed in this reaction is a base hence this is the cause of the blue color and we say that it is a base which also concludes that this oxide which is your metal oxide is the reason of the litmus red changing to blue because water is neutral water will not cause this change so who has caused the change the cause of the change is metal oxide which can be called as a basic oxide which then dissolves in water to form a metal hydroxides which are basic in nature so our conclusion would be that metals combined with oxygen to form an oxide which is basic in nature and if it dissolves in water it leads to the formation of metal hydroxides which are also basic in nature coming to the second example is that of a non metal the non metal that i am using is that of sulfur does anybody know what does a sulfur look like sulfur is a yellow colored powder now this yellow powder you take it in a spatula that is a spoon like thing which you have it in your laps this is your spatula containing the yellow colored powder of sulfur this you heat it by the help of a burner and this burner heats it in the presence of oxygen this combines with oxygen and you collect it by an inverted test tube because it is a gas this liberates a gas which moves up into your test tube so your test tube now has some gas which was liberated when your sulfur burnt in oxygen to this test tube which has the gas you add some water and you also add to it litmus drops which is your blue litmus drops and you observe that your solution turns red what do you conclude the conclusion is this gas is acidic because addition of water and litmus made it turn blue to red shows that the gas that you are referring to has to be acidic if this gas is acidic then what exactly is this gas so for this what we say is sulfur combines with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide this sulfur dioxide then dissolves in water to form sulfurous acid this sulfurous acid is the cause 
of litmus turning from blue to red and we conclude from this that non metal oxides are acidic oxides fine so metallic oxides are basic while non metallic oxides are acidic oxides if you are asked to give a few examples of non metallic oxides would you agree so2 we have already done would you agree to co2 because carbon is also a non metal so this also comes under the category of an acidic oxide no2 also would fall under the category of an acidic oxide so the conclusion drawn is metals combine with oxygen to form metal oxides and if the metal oxide is water soluble then it further dissolves in water to form a metal hydroxide now such metal hydroxides which are water soluble are also given a special name as alkalies and these are basic in nature they turn red litmus to blue examples of such metal hydroxides are potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide which means if your metal is potassium reacts with oxygen to form potassium oxide which then reacts with water dissolves in water actually to form potassium hydroxide and this is the cause of red litmus turning blue since it is water soluble we also call it as an alkali water soluble bases are called as alkali same is true for sodium sodium combines violently with oxygen leading to the formation of a sodium oxide but this sodium oxide quickly then reacts with moisture in the air leading to the formation of naoh which is highly soluble in water also is basic so this also is called as alkali so if you are asked for the examples of alkalies you should know the two metals which do form alkalies are potassium and sodium now under the category of metal reaction with oxygen there is a special category of aluminium when aluminium combines with oxygen this happens over a long period of time if you leave it at room temperature all aluminium articles do get a coating of this protective oxide layer this oxide is given a special name as i said metal oxides are basic oxides is true but this is not true for aluminum oxides aluminum oxide is a special case where it is given the name as amphoteric oxide now what do i mean by amphoteric oxide would be clear by these two chemical reactions the first reaction is your aluminum oxide reacts with an acid the acid that i have taken is hcl leads to the formation of alcl3 plus water now this is a salt this is an acid you very well know acid reacts with something to form salt and water that is a neutralization reaction which means acid is reacting with a base which means aluminum oxide does act as a base and it reacts with an acid but the surprise factor is if you react your aluminum oxide with a base like naoh it does react and form sodium aluminate along with water which is also a salt sodium aluminate is also a salt and water is formed where we know that sodium hydroxide is a water soluble base and alkali hence if a base is reacting with something to form salt and water which means this has to be a acid so your amphoteric oxides are called as those oxides which can react with both acids and bases to form salt and water 
under this category you should know two examples one is aluminium oxide and the second is zinc oxide are the examples of metal oxides which are not basic but are amphoteric this is a new term for you and it is an important concept in class 10th so you should know this particular part with this i close my class of the reactions of metals with oxygen or air and i hope you are liking the videos please keep sharing thanks a ton bless you loads stay well stay safe